Hi everybody, so today is my follow-up video to my last makeup haul that I posted. I'm going to be testing out a lot of the new products that I hauled in that video, so I will link that down below if you're interested. But right now, all I have on is foundation, eye primer, and eyebrows, so let's get into it. So I'm starting off by using the Morphe 35O palette, and first off, those two shades are like exactly the same, so I'm just going to mix them both. And this is going to be my blending slash transitioning color, and this is just a very quick everyday look. Um, this is kind of like my go-to look. I mentioned it in my video, in my haul, that this is just what I wanted to do right when I saw this palette. So now I'm taking that very burnt orangey shade, and this is going more precisely into the crease, and I'm just doing windshield wiper motion, and then also like little circles to make sure it's really blended. Now I'm taking that very warm toned chocolatey brown color and taking that same Sigma E25 brush and I'm buffing this in the crease and then also in the outer V. I really do like this palette overall, I think it's really pretty. When I got the 35W palette, I loved the formula, I loved the quality, so when I bought this one, I, I mean it's the same quality, it's just different colors and it's gorgeous, so I highly recommend this palette. Now moving on to that orangey red color and this is going right in the outer V and crease a little bit more precisely so I'm using that Eco Tools smudge brush I believe it's called. I think this palette is great for green eyes, brown eyes, blue, I think it's just great for all eye colors okay guys. Now I'm taking that darker chocolatey brown and putting that in the um, outer V as well pretty much going on top of that orange. I wanted the orange to just kind of peek through the dark brown so that's why I put that one first. Now I'm going to be blending everything out with that Sigma E25 brush. If you guys didn't know, this is one of my favorite eye brushes ever. I will leave my link and coupon code down below for Sigma. I cleaned up the edges of my eyeshadow and my mouth was open the whole entire time and it was not attractive. So I didn't put any clips in, please forgive me. But now I'm taking this beautiful shimmery light peachy shade and this is going all over the lid. Every time I look at this palette, my eyes just stare right at this shade. It's my favorite color by far. So I'm putting that, like I said, all over the lid and then blending everything out with that same Sigma E25 brush. Now I'm taking that light orangey brown and just blending out the edges so I have a better gradient. Um, just a little bit, not a lot. And then once that's done, I'm highlighting my um, brow bone with the lightest shade in the palette. So now taking the e.l.f. contour palette, which I did haul, I'm taking that skin tone shade and just lightly setting my under eyes. Because this wasn't very brightening, I used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit palette and just took that light banana shade to brighten up a little bit. Now I'm taking this new Milani Constellation Eyeliner. I'll leave the name down below, I'm not sure, but it was actually really cool because it's not super duper pigmented. It's like a natural way to do eyeliner. Does that make sense? Like obviously you can tell that you have eyeliner on, but because it's so light, it's it just looks a little bit more wearable for the daytime. So I really like it. For those of us who like more natural makeup, I think you guys would really, really like this. So now I'm using the new mascara by CoverGirl, and I do like this a lot. It gives me a lot of length which I love. So this is definitely a good product that I hauled. And then moving on back to the Morphe 35O palette, I'm taking that chocolatey brown and just lightly lining my uh, lower lash line. I didn't go as heavy as I usually do just because this is more of like a natural look. Okay, so now the eyes are done and I really like the way the eyes came out and this is where it all kind of goes downhill. I used the NYX Wonder Stick uh, to contour and this is just the universal shade and it's super warm and orangey. I first blended it out with my uh, complexion sponge by Real Techniques and maybe um, it just took a little bit too much out. You can see a little bit of a contour but it just, I don't know, it wasn't that great for me so that's me contouring first with this product. So I wanted to add some more color and bronze up, so I used the e.l.f. Cream Foundation Palette in medium to dark, and I'm taking the lightest shade, and I just pretty much went over my contour. Maybe it was the brush, but everything just looked really patchy. Regardless, this is by far the worst smelling makeup product on the market. I was honestly scared to put this on my face. It gave me a headache. It smells disgusting. I, I can't even explain it to you guys, but once I did that, I went in with the e.l.f. contour palette, which I do really, really like, and I took the darkest shade to help my contour a little bit. It didn't do much, to be honest, because everything was just so patchy, so 
contouring was like a lost cause. Now, this is my favorite thing that I got. It's the e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Blush in Sweet Retreat. It is the most beautiful light peachy pink blush. It's gorgeous and very natural. Let's just thank Muffin for moving my tripod, but because I didn't buy a new highlighter, I just decided to use the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. So now we're moving on to a Revlon liquid lipstick, which is crazy. Didn't know they had liquid lipsticks, but this is an iconic iris. And I do really like it. It's not super pigmented. It takes a little bit to build up the color. It's very easy to apply, though. I just mix it in with a brown lip liner. So then once I did that, um, the look is pretty much done. It's not my favorite look. I Well, I like the eyes. The face just uh, -uh did not like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial nonetheless, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.